This problem from Pre-Regional Mathematics Olympia 2017 is set up in a very interesting way. So we start with a circle uh, and we call that circle omega 1. Let's call it omega 1 and we take a diameter of that circle. So let's call that diameter AB with the center O. Now we choose another circle whose center is P and P lies on OB. So some, something like this P is here suppose and we draw another circle with center P and we call that circles omega 2. Now we will draw tangents from A and B to this red circle. So let's draw tangents starting from A something like this. So this point is A1 this is the point of tangency and then similarly starting from B we will draw a tangent let's call it B1 and here is the point of intersection. So the green lines are tangent and notice that uh, A1 and B1 are on opposite sides of AB so that's how we have drawn it. Uh, now let's see what is what other information we have. We have A1B is 5 that's given. AB1 is 15 so let's join AB1 that's 15 that is given and OP this length is 10 that's also given. Uh, so we want to find out the radius of omega 1. So I'll ask you to pause this video at this point and give this a try. It's not a very hard problem. Uh, there is a hint that you can use. Uh, similarity of triangles. That's it. That's all you need to solve this problem. Uh, and for the construction there is an obvious one you can call this point M and this point N then join PM and join PN now you have to be a little cautious so here is a caution M P N may not be a same straight line may not be a straight line uh, though is though it looks like it in our picture okay so try this a little bit and then come back to this video again all right so assuming that you have tried it this is for some time uh, we will go into solving this problem so the first thing is notice that there are two pairs of similar triangles So let's uh, see what pairs of similar triangles we have. Firstly, we have APM, which is this triangle, and AA1B. That's the bigger triangle. AA1B. Why? Why is it? Uh, why are they similar? Let's see. The first reason is this that there are two right angles uh, I deleted the circle which I did not want to okay so maybe I can just carefully remove some of the stuff that I have here okay now now I think it's fine this is oh so this angle is 90 degree because this is the radius PM so PM is radius let's suppose its length is small r so it's the radius of smaller circle. It's the radius of smaller circle. So let's suppose its length is small r. And AM is tangent. AM is tangent. And it's a well-known theorem that radius, that is PM, is perpendicular to AM at the point of tangency. So if you do not know why that is true, you should try to find out this theorem in some geometry book that you have uh, that you are reading 
I suggest Challenger Centrals of Pre-College Mathematics as an excellent source. Okay, so you have this perpendicular perpendicular uh, PM to AM, and we also have this angle as a 90 degree. Now, why is that angle a 90 degree? Because AB is a diameter. And angle A A1 B is angle subtended in the semicircle. So if it's an angle subtended at the semicircle, it will be a 90 degree. That's also a theorem. So there are two theorems that we are using from uh, elementary geometry. First, that the radius is perpendicular to tangent, and the second is angle subtended by uh, diameter in the circumference is right angle both of these are classical theorems okay so these two angles are equal this angle is common in both of these triangles and that's uh, that's it we have proved it because the third angle will automatically be equal because the other two angles are equal three angles of triangles should add up to 180 degree so if two of them are equal to two of them then the third must be equal okay so this is a similar triangle pair of similar triangles suppose the radius of the bigger circle is capital R so let radius of big circle be equal to capital R then you can see this length AP is equals to R plus 10 AP is R plus 10 and uh, AB is of course the diameter of the bigger tri bigger circle which is simply 2 times capital R so we are assuming that the radius of the big circle is capital R okay so then from this particular pair of similar triangles what do we get so we get that AP over AB AP over AB is equal to PM PM over BA1 so what is AP AP is R plus 10 as we have discussed so R plus 10 over AB is 2R uh, actually I, it is easier to do this if I write it in a different way so AP over PM let me write it like that AP over PM uh, is equal to AB over BA1 okay so AP is R plus 10 over PM is small r. AP over PM is equal to AB is 2 times capital R and BA1 is 5. Okay, so that's one of the ratios that we have. There is, a, there is another pair of similar triangles. There is another pair of similar triangles in this picture. So I would strongly recommend you to pause this particular video right now and um, give, it, give it a try and come back after you have found another pair of similar triangles. So let's see. Uh, okay so we have the picture again here so what is the other pair of similar triangles from the first pair of similar triangles we just found that uh, r plus 10, 10 over small r is equals to 2r over 5 uh, on a second thought I will just cross multiply these to keep it like this r plus 10 over 2r 
is equals to small r over 5. Okay, so how about the second pair of similar triangles? Uh, well, that's exactly uh, found similar in a similar way. It is B P N and that's similar to B A 1 B 1 B A B 1. Again, these two angles are 90 degree because PN is a tangent, uh, is a radius and BN is a tangent and uh, AB1, AB1 is also perpendicular to BB1 because AB is a diameter. So this is angle subtended at the semicircle. Semi so we have exact same reasoning as the previous part. Now let's uh, compute the different sides of these two triangles. So this is R minus 10 because OB is capital R, OP is 10. So this means BP is equal to R minus 10, right? You just delete this OP from that. So R minus 10 and AB is obviously 2R. 2R. So let us uh, take the ratios. So we have AB over PB is equal to AB over PB is equal to AB1 over PN. So what is AB over PB? It is 2R over R minus 10 and AB1 is 15 over small r. PN is small r. So we have these two equations and we know exactly what to do. Pause the video at this point and try to wrap up this problem if you can. We have found two equations and your goal is to find capital R. You should be able to do it quickly. Alright, let's uh, finish off this problem. We have R plus 10 over 2R equals to R by 5. So to this I will multiply this equation. So I will multiply 2R over R minus 10 on the left hand side and I'll multiply 15 over small r on the right hand side. So RR cancels, 2R, 2R cancels and we can find out that uh, this is 3 of course. So R plus 10 equals to 3 times R minus 10 which means R plus 10 is equal to 3R minus 30 or we have 40 equals 2R which implies capital R equals 20. So that's the final answer 20. So in conclusion you needed two things from elementary geometry. Tangent is perpendicular to radius and angle in semicircle is 90 degree. You also needed similarity of triangles and then of course you needed to set up this problem properly. Uh, okay, so keep solving great problems and we will see you in the next video.